zu Wasser! Restringing and, restringing and cleaning video, but first, that's not what this video is. This is a jamming video, making noise and talking about it. Oh yeah, I think everybody knows that that wasn't a Dr. Pepper today. That's right. First beer of the night, just for you. Just for you. So I haven't improved my uh, lighting situation where the shit, right? But I changed my uh, camera angle. I guess you could call it in the sky. Pulled back. Whatever. Truth be told, it's on a fucking boom stand. Big fucking boom stand, right? <coughs> I think this thing booms out like five feet. A really long boom stand. So I figured I'd get it up because the light is right above me. So if I get it up, <laughs> you know, the light will be, you know, it'll look better, less fuzzy, less grainy. Get a little more uh, light photons. Whatever, whatever the fuck makes the camera magic happen. A little clearer. We are, we are far farther away now. That makes much of a difference. Anyway, did I already say that? This is Ibanez uh, SR250. I got this uh, second hand, right? <clears throat> it's in. It was in immaculate. I mean, physical condition. It was just dirty. <clears throat> There's nothing broke. Neck pockets in good shape. The neck wasn't in the shape of a banana, which is handy. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, like a pearl paint job, right? <clears throat> it looks good. Uh, all I did was go through clean stuff, set things up, I set the intonation, lowered the pickup height, which I don't know if it's actually supposed to be lowered or not or if these screws are kind of frozen or if they go into the body or what how the pickup pot is set but i just kind of cranked them down and get them out of the way of the string because and i'll tell you why right now george because they were so so close to the strings that literally if you played very hard or you did any of that mess it would slap off the pickup and it's got marks where people have done that right so this is second hand i got this for just under uh 200 bucks because my old one Right in here, my old school Ibanez bass that I had, which I love fucking Ibanez. Anyway, my old school Ibanez bass uh, had a scarf joint right here, and it split, right? I'd had it for many, many years. It would seen many weather changes, humidity changes, and it had been played uh, very, very heavily. But uh got to be straight with you, I'm not really a bass player. I'm not, not really my thing. feeling the strings are obviously much larger Uh, <clears throat> these are basically EMG style. They're active pickups, right? So, bam, it's got a little battery. That little battery back here. <clears throat> a little 9 volt. And uh, 
instead of having a switch like flip back and forth between the front and neck or uh, <clears throat> or a uh, you know center being both pickups on right, uh, this has a blend knob which it has a little notch where you can feel when you're right in the middle. Right, right, right now I'm right in the middle. Uh, so just for reference. It's got a three band EQ. <clears throat> little three band EQ there on the bottom there. Those three little doodads there. And uh well, that's some tone tone shaping goodness. I gotta gotta give it that. It uh the boost in the cut is uh dramatic, right? It it really boosts the shit out of it or really cuts the shit out of it. Which uh once you got everything set and your gain structure and everything, you really you you, you wanna cut, right? You don't want to boost because then you're you're clipping or whatever. If that makes sense to the audio files and the sound sound notes and stuff out there. Kind of like me. So uh, let's hang out. Well, just to show the most dramatic difference. <clears throat> this is the uh, treble pickup, right? We're gonna crank the bass. Right. It's overdriving the little the little amplifier over here, right? So here it is back in the normal spot. Right? Here it is all the way down. And the balls will just fall right off of it, right? And then anywhere in between, obviously. And then the mids. Okay, max. And all the way down. So you get a super scoop sound. Treble, you know, same shit. So, Ooh, it's it's really really pokey. if it you know anyway uh, that's maxed out here's no treble obviously it's gonna sound kind of muddy and dark yeah it almost sounds almost sounds like you're muting right when you're not you're not center position, volume wide open.
Hell, that's really about it, I guess. Just wanted to share that with you. <coughs> you can get uh, secondhand stuff. And uh, these are new strings, by the way. These are uh, elixirs. But uh, you can get, you know, used stuff and uh, clean it up and uh, make it look, make it look damn good. Just takes a little TLC, TLC, a little bit of time. And uh, if you've got, you know, some tools and stuff, like you jack around with guitars and stuff a lot, you'll have a lot of tools and a few extra parts and just crap laying around from broke guitars and stuff like that. So it doesn't really take, uh, doesn't really take a whole lot. Just a little time and a rag, maybe a little pledge or some soap and some water. But uh, yeah, this thing's in pretty good shape. Fretware is almost non-existent, and uh, it's in good repair, to be totally honest. Mostly just uh, one or two little surface blemishes, and uh, for less than two hundred bucks, and I had to have a base because I have to finish working on this fucking album. And uh, this one sounds better, plays better, stays in tune better, and looks better than the one, <laughs> the one that I had. So, uh, yeah, my hat's off to Ibanez again. I know this is an older style of model or whatever, but they make good shit. That one that I had, I had for 11 years, and it went on the road and all kinds of crap. And uh, it finally just broke the scarf joint. I couldn't, I couldn't beat it to death. It just got so old it fucking fell apart. <laughs> anyway... You can get a close up right quick of that puppy. Woo! Alright. Hope you can see some of that metal flake and kind of like pearlescence of it. There's the back side. You can see the serial number and shit. Yeah. Cha ching It's in good shape. Plays good. Intonated really well. And, uh,. I couldn't really be more pleased with it. Good night.